Howdy everybody, this is uh, Kevin Howard with Cowan Creek Mountain Music School and I'm going to give you an introduction to the old time banjo. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, the parts of your banjo. If you're uh, new to this instrument, it's uh, very similar to other ones you may have played, but it's, it's you know, got its own specific parts to it. And so we'll, we'll start down here on the pot of your banjo. This would be the pot. Uh, it, is, uh, it has a rim which is connected to the pot through these brackets. I have an armrest on this one, a tailpiece, which holds uh, the strings on, also has a head and a bridge. Then you go on up to the neck of the banjo, which is uh, where you do your fretting on your strings. And these metal things are called frets, and we number those. So uh, here in between what would be uh, called the nut, and the first fret, that's our first fret position. Our second position will be the next one, then third, fourth, fifth, and so on. On past the nut, you have your headstock, which holds on your tuners. And uh, the strings on the banjo, what we'll go into now, uh, they're, they're tuned to an open string. So if, you're, uh, if you see someone playing the guitar, and you'll notice uh, they make chords all the time. If they're, if they're making music, uh, strumming rhythms, they're usually uh, making a chord. And an advantage to the banjo is that it's already tuned in a chord. If I take and I just strum my banjo open, that's a G. So uh, the strings on this are also numbered one, two, three, four, and five. And they also have names, which would be uh, D, B, G, D, and G which are the, the chords that make up the, the G chord, the G triad. And so that's all of your parts on the banjo. Now I'm going to show you something that uh, is called railroading. And it's a way to get your right hand uh, used to playing the banjo. And the basic lick on the banjo is you're going to pluck with your index finger. I'm doing it on the first string this particular time, but you'll pluck. And then you'll use your other fingers. I use these three, my first, second, third, and fourth fingers. I use my one, two, three to strum down. And then you'll catch your fifth string with your thumb. So that's the basic banjo lick. But to do our railroading exercise, what we'll do is we'll start on our first string and we'll pluck it with our index finger. Then we'll brush, thumb. Then we're going to go up to our second string. Pluck it, brush, thumb. Our third, Pluck it, brush thumb, then all the way up to our fourth, pluck it and brush thumb. We're going to stop there, and we're going to hit our fourth again. We're going to work our way back down. Fourth, third, brush thumb, second, brush thumb, and first, brush thumb. And if you've done that all together over and over, it would sound a little bit like this. railroading and that's something you should practice right away and it's a you don't have to sit and do that the entire time but it's good like say you're watching tv or you're sitting around and don't have anything to do just keep your banjo on you and kind of keep doing that because what it's going to do is it's just going to build the muscle memory required for you to play the banjo while knowing which uh, strings you're hitting and from here we're going to move on and we're going to learn two chords and this will be our first two chords and the first one is a C, but it's a, what I, I call a cheater's C. And the way we're going to make it is we're going to start with our first finger, we're going to put it on our second string, on our first fret, and we're going to take our number two finger here, and we're going to put it on our second fret of our first string. And this is a C chord. We do the same thing. And the other one we're going to learn is a D7, and the easiest way to get here from C is to keep our first finger right here on our second string first fret. And we're going to move our middle finger up to our second fret on our third string. And this is a D7 chord. And so all these together in the key of G, you can play a lot of songs already. So you can, uh, you got your G chord. Now you got a C chord. 
and you got a D7 chord. So practice the railroading, and in our, on our next lesson, we're going to uh, learn how to apply this to play in a very simple song.